We, the Muslims, say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator. One Lord who created everything without any partner. And I can go to my Quran and quote extensively. I'm going to do that to show you Allah speaks about his power, his omnipotence, that he created everything without any partner. And I wait for him to go to the Bible and show me a single verse from the Bible why Jesus said he's created something. Because they believe that, they believe in the concept of Trinity. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But that's not three God, one God. The Father is eternal, the Son is eternal, and the Holy oh, Ghost is eternal. Really? So the power, the, so the, the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But there are not three God, but one God. These three are, should be worshipped. They are co-equal, co-eternal. These three were involved in the creation of everything, including us. So, I will go to the Quran. If you don't go to the Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah. It says that, Bani Usama wa iza kada amran fa inna ma yakul lakum fa yakul. He, Allah, is the originator of the heavens and the earth. I agree. When he decrees the matter, he only says to you, be and it is, kum fa yakul. You need to go to the Quran. I'm going to quote extensively. You need to go to the Quran. I'm going to the Bible and I'm going to show you in the Old Testament who is the creator. It's not Jesus. It's not a trying God, but one Lord in your Bible. And I'll wait for you. You read the Bible. It's mentioned in Surah Al An'am, chapter number one, verse number 61 says, 61 says that all praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who created the heavens and the earth and originated the darkness and the light. Yet those who disbelieve hold others as equal with their God. Follow me in the oldest Quran. It is mentioned. I'm going to quote the Quran before, before I come to the Bible. It is mentioned in Surah al anbiya chapter number 21, verse number 25, says that Allah created the sun and the moon and the day, day and the night, each swimming in their orbit. Furthermore, it is mentioned in Surah, in the, Surah Adariyat, no, Surah Adariyat, chapter 51, 51, verse number 56, it says that, Allah said, and I, Allah, created the jinn and mankind, except that they should worship me alone. You understand? Several verses in the Bible, in the Quran, Allah speaks about his creative power. You see, Almighty God Allah, the creator, we cannot know, it is true that we do not know everything about Almighty God. But one thing that Allah, Almighty God, uh, did not hide from us, is letting us know who he is and several verses in the Quran, Quran is repeated verses, Allah is talking about his oneness, about his uniqueness, that is the creator. Now when you go to your Bible here, there's not a single verse we are telling you why Jesus is Alessandre, he is God, or what it mean, or he created anything. Go back. Go back. Well, I want to make a point before I begin. First of all, I want to establish that as a Christian, I'm arguing that if the Quran is true, the Bible is false. The Bible is true, the Quran is false. But that's not, that's not a debate. No, wait, wait, wait. It's about who is the creator. You see, you say, I, I No, we say who is the creator. I did we not started. interrupt you. You are interrupting me. Okay, go, 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 go. I'm making my point. Okay, go, go. And I'm saying to you, you are quoting from a book that we Christians happen to believe is a lie. And so if the Quran says something from different to what the Bible says, it must be a lie. Why? Because the Bible came before the Quran came. Now let's come to the issue of creator. You know, God made us just like himself, as human beings. A human being is tripartite. A human being is a spirit, has a soul, lives in a body. Three but one. I will say this to you. Are you your body? No, you have a body. Are you your soul? No, you have a soul. But you happen to be a spirit. That is the reason why we feel contradictions within ourselves. We have issues like schizophrenia. We say what? Uh, dual personality. Well, where does that come from? That comes from the way that God made us. Now watch this. God has revealed himself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is to be found in the scriptures that Isa preached. Nobody knew it until Isa came to reveal that there is a Father. Yes, the Jews said God is a Father, but not the way Isa mentioned it. Isa said, He is my Father. Isa said, He has said me, and I'm here to represent Him. But watch this. Isa didn't always call himself a son of man, he called himself the son of God. Now, these are the issues where we begin to go to creation. In the Gospel of John, he mentions, in the beginning was a word. Now, who is the word? Isa. In the beginning was Isa. 
and the word was with God. That means Isa was with God. And the word was God. That means Isa was God. The same was in the beginning with God. He says, all things were made by him, the word, Isa. And what him was not anything made that was made. That means Isa actually made all things. Now, this is where you ask, well, is it Isa the man? Well, we begin to understand that Isa pre-existed as the word of God. This is where he found himself as God. Now, even in the Quran, you mentioned that Isa is the word of God. Is it true or not? You can't speak, but let me say this to you. If Isa is the word of God, you ask yourself, can you separate yourself from your words? No, you and your words are one. So Isa is the word of God. That means Isa is God himself. Now, you say, well, Holy Spirit. Well, as a human being, you have a spirit yourself. So if God reveals himself as three persons in one, our mind may not comprehend it, but if we open our hearts, we can believe it. And when we believe it, we begin to understand it. Because you can't understand something you don't believe. If you say something is a lie, how can you understand it? You have to first believe it. Once you believe it, you begin to understand what you believe. And I want to say this to you. Jesus is creator. You read the book of Revelations, and I'll read it. Jesus says in the book of Revelations, whom you call Isa. When I say Jesus, I mean Isa. And, uh, three minutes. Okay, okay. So, Brother Caesar, can you see my African brother here is very miserably. I can see. That is why when I came, he was panicking. He didn't want me to talk. You see, he's empty. He cannot quote from the Bible a single verse why Jesus is the creator. Now, let me give you Bible lessons now. My brother, I know you haven't studied your Bible. You read your Bible. You haven't studied. God is a trying God. He must be three in one. That's a fabrication. Trinity is a concoction. You understand? The word Trinity in the Bible. Even the word Bible is not the Bible. Let me educate your Bible. We come to, I know you are digressing. It's about creator, you got the oneness. When I'll come to the oneness of God and quote verse from the Bible. Where Jesus debunked this myth of God, of uh, being God incarnate or Trinity. You read your Bible in the Old Testament. You know, if you want to know about the attributes of God. Yeah. If you want to know uh, the prophets and the attributes of God, what God says about himself, you go to the Old Testament. If you read your Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44, verse number 24, God said, God is talking here, I never think, I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. Is there three there? You people are deluded. You read the Bible. Do you know according to Jesus, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Not a single verse in your Bible, why Jesus said it's God, or worship me, or he's the creator. Not a single unequivocal verse from the Bible why Jesus said he created anything. But instead, listen to this. Do you know what Jesus said? According to Jesus, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? You read the Bible. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number yeah, uh, 11, verse number 25. Matthew 11, 25. Jesus said that, he said, at that, at that time, he said, at that time, Jesus said, Father, I praise you, Lord of the heavens and the earth. Who is the Lord? According to Jesus, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Tell me. He said, Father, not Jesus, not the Spirit. I thought you said three of them were involved in creation. Jesus never said the Father, what the, the, fa the Father. You? No, you respond to me. Let me finish. Uh -huh. Let me finish several parts of the Bible. You read the Bible again. I'm giving you Bible lessons. I want you to quote what Jesus, I'm all quoting Jesus' all lives of what God said. Not anyone else. You read the Bible again in the book of Isaiah. I love Isaiah because you want to know about God. You go to Isaiah. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45. Huh? Verse number 18 says that. It said, For this is what the Lord said. For this is what the Lord said. He who created the heavens, he is God. He who fashioned the earth and founded it. He did not create it to, he did not create it to be empty, but formed it to be inhabited. He says. I am the Lord, and there is no other who is the creator. Is it Jesus? No. You are deluded. You are going anywhere. Show us the proof. What did Jesus create? Now, God. let me quote what the Bible says. The issue of the Trinity, that we Christians believe that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is revealed in the very beginning. And I go to Genesis chapter 1. And I want you to reason. 
think about what he's saying. He says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God. I want to ask a question. In the beginning, he says God. But now he says the Spirit of God. Now, is God the Spirit of God? Of course, you can't respond. Let's go on. And he says, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Now, my understanding is that when he says God, and now he says the Spirit of God, now it's making us understand an aspect of God. God is revealing himself that there is the Spirit of God. But look at what he says. And he says, and God said, let there be light. Now, what did God say? God spoke his word. Who is the word of God? Isa is the word of God. Now, this is the first day of creation. When you see the spirit of God and you see God speaking, he's speaking, Isa is the word. And look at what he says. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Here, you see all three persons at action at once. God the Father speaking and the Spirit moving to create what he spoke. Yet you Muslims have no understanding. You go, well, you know, God, God, God. What God are you talking about? The scripture reveals it says, and, and wait, wait. This is one aspect. Now, let us go to Genesis 1.26. Genesis 1.26 says, and God said, let us make man in our image. Why does God use us for himself? I mean, after all, if he's supposed to be the so-called one God which you believe he is, he says us. Now, he's revealing the Trinity. Father, <laughs> Son, and Holy Spirit. Because why would God use us if he was just singular God? But God reveals that he is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Son is whom we call the Word of God. So there is no confusion in the Christian mind when God begins to reveal himself by the very way he created us. As a human being, you're a spirit, you have a soul, you live in your body. You and your words are one. In fact, when your, a police stops you, they will tell you, be careful what you say, because anything you say can be held against you in a court of law. Why? Because you represent your words. They are part of you. Your words come from you. So when you say Isa is a... He's failing again miserably. Uh, I'm sorry for my brother. <laughs> Oga! Oga, you're failing miserably. You're everywhere. You, you, you haven't studied your Bible. Lisa, you are the one look, look. look. In the Old Testament, there is, look, this concept of Trinity, you are going to obscure verses. Could not Jew alive today who study their scripture, they will look at and laugh. You see, you're quoting from the Old Testament. None of the, the, the prophets in the Old Testament was he a trying God. Show me a verse in the Old Testament. Why any of the prophets was he a trying God and become a Christian? You can't. And you, you believe in this concept. How could Jesus be God when Jesus in the Bible is subservient to Almighty God? Even in John, John 14, 28, my father get an eye. John 5, 30, I can of myself do nothing as I hear a judge and my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will but the will of him who sent me. How can Jesus be God? When he said, I can offer myself, do nothing, you read the Bible. Gospel of John, chapter 12, 14, chapter 12, 49 to 50. Jesus said, I have not spoken of myself, but the Father who sent me. I have not spoken of myself, but the Father who sent me. He gave me a commandment, what I should say and what, what I should speak. And I know that his word is life everlasting, whatsoever, whatsoever I speak. Therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Even when Jesus left this world. When Jesus left this world, Peter went to the crowd. Remember, Jesus already left this world. Peter and the disciples went to the crowd. Book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. What he said? Peter said, men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God. A man attested to you by God with mighty works, wonders, and signs, which God did through him and your witness to it. All the miracles Jesus performed, God Almighty God was doing it. What's wrong with you people? You go to obscure verses. The emphatic verses are there. You are not quoting them. Clear verses. You read the Bible. Jesus said he was sent by God. How can he be God? You said Jesus was fully God, fully man. 
Yeah. But if you read your Bible, in the Gospel of John, John you like, Gospel of John 8.42, what Jesus said? Jesus said, if God were your father, you would love me. For I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Who sent Jesus? God. Yeah. Please, please, please. 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 Yeah, he said, God. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Come on, guys, respect us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show some respect. Show some respect. Please. Show some respect. Show some respect. Please. Yeah. yeah, you are Christians. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. why people have issues with us. Show some respect. That, that's the thing. This guy, living here. So, as I said, that's the thing. So, all these verses here, Jesus is making distinction between Him and Almighty God. Almighty God. In fact, uh, when Jesus left this world again, the disciples, is it finished? No, no, yeah, no, no, the disciples were preaching. Extensively for years. Do you know what they're preaching? You read it in Book of Acts. It's finished. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah. Now, I want to say here that in the Muslim mind, there seems to be an argument that we Christians don't believe that Jesus is a man. I believe Jesus is fully man, but I also believe he's fully God. Now, watch this. Let's look at John chapter 5. Okay, okay, okay. You remember what? Okay, okay. Let's look at John chapter 5. The devil is the one who doesn't like this conversation. Okay, okay. 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 You got three months left. Yeah, you got three months left. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go on, go on. Go on then. No, no. We're we going to finish that. About, he said, we got, we got, son of God. We're going to yes. finish. He, okay. he chose to have a son. Yeah. Don't you think that this God is racist? Why he didn't choose a daughter God? No. Let, let, let me finish. No, we, Why no. he didn't choose a daughter because God? We want to digress. Life yeah. began no. with a man. We are going to digress. A woman came okay. out of a man. We got, go. A woman comes out of a man. We finish, are one. We finish, women are one. Finish your time. Finish your time then. Okay. Finish now, your time. Now, now, now watch this. Watch this. I'm reading John chapter 5 verse 17. It says, Jesus answered them, my father worketh here too, and I work. Jesus is saying, him and the father, they work together. They are one. Watch this. Therefore the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him, because therefore the Jews sought more to kill him, because he had not only broken the Sabbath, but he also said that God was his father, making himself equal with God. These are Jews, I not me, I wasn't there. The Jews were inferring from what Jesus said, he was making himself equal with God. Now, what don't you Muslims understand when the Jews killed him because they thought, how can you make yourself God? You're a human being. If Jesus hadn't inferred that he was God, they wouldn't have wanted to kill him, but I haven't finished. It says, therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him because he had not only broken the Sabbath, but also said that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what does he have the Father do, that also doeth himself Thank likewise. You. you see, in the Muslim mind, you think because we say Jesus is God, then he makes himself separate. No, Jesus is God, and so whatever God did, he did through him and he through God. Nothing Jesus did was without God. Jesus himself was working like nobody did. Nobody could make the claims Jesus made. Could Prophet Muhammad, could Prophet Muhammad, could Prophet Muhammad make himself equal with God? No, he was just a human being. But Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was born pure. He was born, and like the Jews said here, he was making himself equal with God. And then he says, he says, very I say unto you, the son cannot do nothing of himself, but what he see as the father do, this also do himself likewise. For the father, this guy, he's failing miserably. He's quoting from Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse number 16 to 18. When the Jews, the troublemakers, were accusing Jesus, that is no word of Jesus. Jesus tells me a verse in the Bible, while Jesus, he said, he's called equal, called eternal God. You are, called, you are quoting troublemakers? The troublemakers were accusing him, not Jesus himself. What Jesus said, my father is greater than I. What does that mean? Jesus himself. Call yeah, Jesus. God, God is greater than man. 
<laughs> but you said Jesus was fully God, fully he man on the earth. Yes, there you are. You're confused. Yeah. So fully God, yeah, fully you're God. Jesus, you're fully God, fully God. He said Jesus admits he's a man as a man. But he's not God. But he doesn't change him from being God. No, 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 no. And as a man, no, no, no. every man is accepted no, no. to God. He said, but he said he's a man. But did he say he's God? What is the Son of God? What is the Son of God? Son of God being God. I'm son, asking you. Son of God being God. I'm asking you. No, what is son, son of God? What is Son being? Son of God is God. Only begotten Son. The only what? <laughs> the, only, the only begotten Son. Yes. Do you know begotten? Because no one else was born like him. Do you know anyone born of a virgin? No, no, no. No, no I'm asking you. No, answer me. No, listen, no. You know anyone no, born no, of a virgin? No, no. Listen, listen. Yes. The only begotten Son. Yes. With, 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 with Bible have you got? It's not here. Begotten out. It doesn't matter. But the Christians it, wrote it, this. It, the Christian scholars. It is still in the scriptures. Let me, you know. The cotton is out. I said, because it's out. I said, can, can I show you? Can I show you? You see, you see. Uh, look, look, look. That is why. Let me. Let, it's, 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 my, it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. Look, uh, you know, you're talking. You know, that's why we are Muslims. We are telling you. Look, we are inviting to religion of all the prophets, which is Islam. Which is a lie. Let me finish. Uh, Jesus was a Muslim. All the prophets were Muslim. If Jesus submitted will to Almighty God, how can he be God? You have to show me a clever verse of the Bible from Jesus' own lips. He never said he's God. He never said worship me. He never said he created anything. I call the verse to you. Why all the mighty God in the Old Testament? Look, when in the Bible, why is it that you people? You see, you are here. If I ask you, he can quote John. But if I ask you, go to the Old Testament and quote six verses. Why Almighty God? Yeah. Why Almighty God in the Old Testament speaks about his attributes? About his oneness. Can you do it? Six. six. Can you call six verses from the Old Testament? Where Almighty God in the, in the Old Testament speaks about his attributes, about his oneness. Can you do it? Six. No, no, no. Six. Of course, six. They can't. They go to John. You can't. Can't. I told you. I said no. No, listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. I forfeit my time. Six verses. I want you to quote. But you can quote John. I'm saying but when you, you, let me finish. When I'm you want, let, let, you. let me. I just let, quoted one. No, no. Why listen, you? listen. If you want to know about the, 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 the concept of God, God's attributes. If you want to know about the prophets, what the prophets say about God, you go to the Old Testament, not New Testament. We came, we wasn't commissioned by Jesus. We came later on, full of contradiction. You are I'm, so I, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. This I'm, 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 is I'm, a confusion. No, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. Finish. It's finished. Go. You cannot. This is a confusion of Islam. He can't. My point. He can quote it. Six, ver six verses I want. He can't. Here in John chapter 5, verse 25, I want you as a Muslim to listen and think about it. He says, Verily, verily, I say to you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the sound, the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Let me ask you, Muslims, how can the dead? Hear the, sound, the, the voice of the Son of God. Because he himself is God. Not just the Son of God. <laughs> Jesus Christ is God. That is the reason why those who are dead will hear his voice and he will judge them. And you Muslims, on the judgment day, Jesus Christ will call you from your grave and he will judge you. And if you follow Prophet Muhammad, you will go to hell. But if you acknowledge Jesus Christ as the Son of a living God, then you shall live. I didn't say it. The scripture says it here. That there's... He, Jesus calls himself here the Son of God. What don't you Muslims understand? That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He says it of himself. He says, I am the Son of God. Right here in scripture. John, John 5, 25. And he says, The Father, for as the Father has life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself. And has given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the son of man. So here is Jesus. He calls himself son of God, son of man. We as Christians don't dispute it. We say Jesus is the son of God as well as the son of man. But you Muslims, you cannot get it through your heads. Like you are confused. How can it be God? Well, because he's the son of God. He's a begotten son of God. Only begotten son of God. Of course, angels are called sons of God. Human beings are called sons of God. But Jesus Christ came straight from the father himself a part of the father not separate from the father but one with the father and i said to you a muslim why did the jews want to kill jesus because he made himself equal with god if that wasn't the case they would never have sought to kill him 
And this thing is where you Muslims, you struggle, you can't accept it. But the fact is that Jesus calls himself the son of God, making himself equal with God. And so in my mind, as a Christian, I have no confusion in my mind. I understand this, that he is truly God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The same way a human being is spirit, soul, and body. Then you tell me, oh, quote the scriptures. Well, let's go to Isaiah. And let me quote the scriptures. Ten seconds. Me... Okay. Ten seconds. <laughs> my Oga, 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 my Nigerian, my Nigerian brother is feeling miserable again. Oga, you're failing miserably. No, in your mind. Uh, yeah, you're you, telling me, you know, God the Father, you God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, He cannot show me in the Bible. There's nowhere. God, show me, God, God the Son. You can't show me. I'm telling you, you're not proving it. I challenge you to show me a verse why Jesus Himself said He's God, is worshiping. Why Jesus said He created anything. You can't show me. It's not there.